What's going on guys, my name is Arbuckle, welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to do a bit of a throwback video, um, I wanted to do a little bit of reminiscing I guess you could say. Uh, this morning I decided to get on YouTube and watch a lot of the old school YouTubers that I used to watch because it's been a while since I've actually sat down um, and watched some of those old school gameplay commentaries. And uh, I was watching some of Hutch's videos, some of C. Nanners' videos, um, and I went through some of the older guys that I used to watch all the time, and I watched a video by Hutch this morning where he reacted to his first time ever on Machinima Respawn's channel. And watching that video brought back so many memories for me, especially since that is when I really started watching YouTube gaming, back when C. Nanners and Hutch really started doing their gameplay commentaries on Call of Duty. Uh, which was like six years ago, and um, and that's really when it took off for me when I really got obsessed with watching YouTubers that pertain to, to gaming, more specifically Call of Duty and, and their gameplay commentaries. And I feel like back then, um, it was more of a personality thing, right? People watch YouTubers based on their personality, um, mainly because it was just gameplay commentary. There wasn't much other than that at the time. I know it started out with just gameplay. And then they started doing gameplay commentary where they really just talked about the game that they were in, their personal lives, and just random things going on. And uh, and I feel like people really enjoyed that. People liked watching other people that played games talk about their life and, and who they were and and, uh, and all that jazz. And it, again, it was more of a personality thing. Nowadays, if you look at how much YouTube has progressed, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing, it's helped a lot, especially... Uh, with games is that you know any game you want to play if you YouTube it there's a video on how to do something or just a video on that game in particular like, especially with Call of Duty because of how much it's blown up if you play or if you uh, if you YouTube Call of Duty Black Ops 3 you can find anything uh, ranging to, to funny moments to trolling videos to tips and tricks to tutorials literally you name it it's on there right you name it you can find it and back then it wasn't like that it was mostly gameplay commentary and random youtubers just you know living their life on the camera and it was really really cool um and i really do miss that and it was really weird sitting down and watching those videos and thinking like i was in this spot watching this video like six years ago like that's just so crazy to think it's come that far um, and this long and I've, I've really missed it I really do miss the fact that there's not that many people on YouTube that just do that gameplay commentary anymore um, I know that it got stale and people wanted to see something different um, and, and since it's changed it's really changed for a long time and it hasn't you know gameplay commentary changed like four or five years ago when everyone said you know it's getting stale find something else to do so everybody started doing other things like trolling tips and tricks tutorials all that jazz and, uh, and now it's just, it's been so long that I honestly really miss it. And I don't know about you guys. I know that a lot of you probably watch my video. I know a lot of you guys came from Thunder a long time ago. Um, and Thunder, if you don't know who 402 Thunder is or Legend of Thunder, uh, he is basically just a gameplay commentary channel. He's got like 500,000 subs and he just, you know, talks about the game, talks about his life, talks about random stuff. And, uh, and it's really enjoyable. I really enjoy watching his videos. And I think the reason for that is because there's not that many people that do that anymore. And uh, I miss that connection, being able to connect with YouTubers, especially with C. Nanners and Hutch, man. Because those two were the original ones, and they used to put their life all over their channel, then they joined Respawn, and their life was on Respawn. Like that, that was the coolest thing I've ever experienced, was being able to watch them and uh, and see other people that enjoyed doing what I do um, live their life. It was just something really special, and I miss that. And I think that that was really uh, something cool. Uh, it was a great time period of YouTube. It's something that we're going to look back on uh, 20 years from now and be like, hey, remember when when YouTube gaming started and, you know, you, you could put a gameplay on YouTube and talk over it and that was the thing. Who knows what will happen 20 years from now, right? Who even knows if YouTube will still exist? Um, but basically what I want to say is I'm going to start bringing back some of these gameplay commentaries. Uh, for those of you that don't put on my channel a while, I used to do face cams where I kind of did cut commentaries. Um, and I really enjoyed doing that. Unfortunately, it took so much time up to be able to record that and then have to go through and edit all that. It takes a lot of time to make those videos. And uh, I just don't have that time anymore. So I want to try to get some old school gameplay commentaries up alongside my tips and tricks videos so that I can hopefully um, entertain you guys a little bit more. Because that's the goal with my channel is to make you guys happy and to hopefully... Uh, make my content as enjoyable as possible but anyway guys that's all i've got for today's video i really hope you guys did enjoy this uh make sure to comment let me know what you guys think what you guys want to see if you guys do want to see some gameplay commentaries and uh and yeah that's it for the video i hope you guys did enjoy and i will see all you guys in the next video